thank all of you for coming here to participate in the first annual ride. Hopefully this will be an annual event. Uh, but keeping in mind that all of this money is going to Glendale Community College Scholarship Fund to help veterans, to help veterans. Relying on donations and going out and talking to folks and asking them to contribute is one way of gathering money. The other way is to have some kind of an event like the mayor is uh, helping us with here. Okay, I need to hear a real loud yeah. yeah. Okay. You may know that in September, uh, the mayor organized and, and co-hosted here with Glendale the Stand Up for Veterans. That was all about services. All right? This is about education, so it's kind of like the second leg on a stool. When we leave here this morning, this will be a fully escorted ride. That means you will have a lead vehicle, you will have a trail vehicle, and you will have escort vehicles for the entire route. All of the intersections that we pass through will be shut down. This, this ride will not stop. It will be continuous, every intersection. I think right now we've got about 75 controlled intersections. We've got about 65 members of the Sheriff's Office out here that are going to be shutting down, escort, uh, shutting down intersections for you. With that being said, this ride is going to be at or below the speed limit the entire time. If you want to do anything crazy, I'm going to politely ask you to get out of line and take off and do your own thing uh, so you don't anger some of my deputies and make them have to give you a ticket. We don't want to do that. Uh, we're going to be a safe ride. We're going to be a classy ride, and we are going to honor the military and law enforcement members that we have here today as they should be. Well, it, one of the things that really uh, loved about it is that they're going to uh, go into Luke Air Force Base, drive down the flight line, and I'm sure Luke always embraces any of these type of activities. Uh, I know they're gonna have some jets laid out there for us to drive by, which is just an incredible opportunity. Who gets to drive uh, down the flight line, uh, you know, on an Air Force base these days? That's great. And then the second thing that really got me is we get to drive around the inside of uh, University of Phoenix Stadium. I mean, it, that's just crazy <laughs> to be able to go in there and rev your pipes and have a, have a great day. And then of course there's the barbecue afterwards. So it's a win-win for everybody.